Hey, Cassie Anderson here, reporting on my 13th month of TSW. And so this last month, um, what I did was uh, it started off really rocky because January 1st was my one year anniversary date and I gave you that report in my 12 month update what that looked like for me but it took a few days for my skin to just kind of calm down and feel better again which was really kind of random that it happened like that because I've actually been doing fairly well for the most part considering all that goes into withdraw um, so it was just really odd that it just happened to flare then and for just that amount of time. Anyways, so I recovered from that and then um, my skin actually felt like super normal, um, which is crazy because it felt like just like normal healed skin. And I was really hopeful and excited about that. And then it just kind of flared again. Um, but it wasn't like a really terrible flare. It was just semi bad and now it feels like the last 48 hours my hands have been um, kind of getting back into that normal feeling again so super hopeful that I'm somewhere at the tail end don't know you know what that looks like weeks or months or whatever but um, but yeah it's just really nice to to be able to move around and not feel like I have to be submerged in a bath all the time and and whatnot so I can move my wrists and all that good stuff. So, all right. So at the beginning of this month, um, my skin was just like really broken and, you know, really red and lots of open sores still. And so um, because I had had such a bad flare that first week of January, I decided to um, jump in a bleach bath again. And, you know, the first day I did that, I felt better and so the next day I thought you know what I'm just gonna do it again and again and again and I took like I mean I can't even tell you how many bleach baths I took in a row like day after day because I would I don't don't even do this guys because don't trust this but I just like my mentality at that time was I just want to kill this thing once and for all and be done with it <laughs> like I was just sick and tired um, anyhow so fast forward if you've been following me, you know that I'm a health and wellness coach, and our team does seven-day cleanses all the time. And not that we participate in every one, we, like, personally, we coach a lot of people through them more than we participate, but this one in January was my time to do it again. Um, cleanses are recommended once or twice a year. So I, um, I did a seven-day cleanse, and you guys, I've done this cleanse before. I have had the diet I've taken the supplements that go with it and usually when when you're when you detox you feel some symptoms it could be like a headache or a migraine it could be flu-like symptoms um, kind of shaky and and all that it could be constipation um, stuff like that because your body's getting rid of the toxins and so in the past, I've experienced like a mild headache here and there. And I'm like, oh, it's normal the first day or two. No big deal. This time around, because I believe it was because of all those bleach baths, you guys, I was so sick. Like I had like this terrible migraine. I could barely like open my eyes and walk. <laughs> like I was so shaky, felt like I was going to throw up. It was so bad. And, um... And it lasted for like the first three days and then I was fine. And then the last bit of the, um, so it would have been the last four days of the detox or the cleanse. My skin was like the normal, healthy, like beautiful skin, silky smooth. So isn't that so crazy? So anyways, as much as I want to say that I was right in the moment thinking that the bleach baths were okay, um... I definitely, like I had like the respiratory issues, like things like coming out of my system during that cleanse that I didn't even know were in me. And like I said, I've done the cleanse in the past. I really keep a pretty normal, um, strict routine, pretty consistent because I like a controlled environment and a controlled diet and everything. So really the only thing between any other cleanses and this one was the, ba the bleach bath. So anyways, just to throw that out there, not to overdo it with the bleach baths, um, that's not even recommended to do a daily bleach bath, by the way. I just, like I said, mentally, I just had had it. <laughs> like, get me out of here. Okay, so, um, 
two things that I just want to tell you about that I cannot live without. Anytime I run out of these things, my skin takes a nose dive. And so I have just learned to be completely fully stacked with these. Um, the zinc cream, I've mentioned this before. I will say it again. I cannot live without this. I ran out of this for like a week and that was the week that my skin went bad again. So I just, I cannot live without this. Um, once I added this back in the routine again, um, everything like magically got better, like overnight. It does it every time. This is the other thing that I can't live without, that if I run out again, like my skin will get bad, I, I need it. Um, this is the Advanced Renewal Night Cream. It's rich. It has Vital Repair Plus, Lotus, Haponicus, Shea Butter, and Jojoba. Japonicus? I don't even know how to say that. Anyways, it looks like this. It's by Youth. It's a Shackley product. The same thing with this is a part of the Youth line. Again, the Shackley product. Everything is completely natural. They test it for over 350 contaminants. Um, it's formulated without 2,500 dangerous compromising ingredients. I don't know. Um, anyhow, if you want to know more about it, if you want to get some of your own, go to Sagacious Living dot my shackley dot com and I swear you will not regret it and you know I know what it is to have sensitive skin we all know um so if this is not your match get it try it if it's not your match get your money back because everything is 100% guaranteed and you can use the whole entire bottle or tube or the container or tube and if you still don't like it at the end or whatever like that's how much this company stands behind their products so I love it because Anything that you buy at the store, over the counter, at the pharmacy, whatever it is, like once you crack it open, you can't really return it. Like there is no policy with with a lot of um, health and beauty products. So honestly, guys, if you have any, if you need a moisturizer, um, these two things, this is actually the AM moisturizer, this is the PM moisturizer. I use them both whenever my skin is um, thirsty. So um Anyways, use it on whatever problem areas that you have. I had, um, I so my body, just kind of like the whole, uh, kind of everything in a nutshell. My body in the very beginning was full body flare. And then one by one, like different body parts started healing and healing and healing and healing. So it started where, um, let's see, let's see if I can stand up and show you. Like, so this part was like the first to flare, 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 flare. And then to heal, it was my ankles healed, my legs healed, all this healed. Um, and then my chest is healed now. So um, like most of my face is, I would say it's pretty healed. Every now and then I get a little red and blotchy. But for the most part, I feel like underneath my eyes, like they're super soft now. They're not scaly and scabby or leathery. Um, and then my arms, it's just basically from the elbows down and every month it seems to be getting, uh, more stable and healthier and whatever. So as of right now, I kind of have, um, kind of some like red dot spots. I don't even know like where those came from, like, cause that's not usually my norm, but. I mean, because usually it's like a solid patch or something, but I'll take speckles. That's okay. Um, but that's basically where I'm at now is that most of it is healing and mending. Um, it's like 7 below zero today, by the way, you guys. I think the high is like 10 degrees or something. But anyways, like this, so for the longest time... <sighs> I was like tearing apart and ripping off my flesh on the inside of my wrists. And um and I'm and this is a problem part too, like on my right hand, my dominant hand, um, like this was always breaking open like the Grand Canyon. And that was really painful. And now even though like I still have kind of some they look like sores they don't necessarily feel like sores. So it looks worse than it feels, I think, um, because it's it really is, it's not broken skin. Um, now it's not to say that I won't like get a little tiny scab and, and itch it open, but it's not like the whole flesh anymore, um, that whole area. The other thing that was interesting, and you guys probably have this too, like there were like massive bumps 
like tons of bumps and kind of this rashy, bumpy feel on the side of my palm. And I really think that that was just the overuse of steroids for so long. Um, like I would always, my hands were always the ones touching to put it everywhere else on my body. Um, so that's just about gone. There was probably a month or two where it was really heavy with a lot of sores. It was kind of like acne on my, I don't know how else to describe it. Um, and there's just like a couple more bumps left and that's it. So that's just about gone too. So anyways, that's my 13th month update. And because I am late reporting to you, in the meantime, guess what else I get to report? Dun, 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 Yesterday, Super Bowl Sunday, was my four, 400th day mark. My son made this for me. And um, I gotta show you my other ones too. I got 100, 200, 300, and now I'm going to add 400 up there because I am all about celebrating the milestones during recovery. So anyways, I wish you guys the best of health this month, and I will check in with you, check in with you again next month. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye.